Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome back to Takanyo Emergent Biopark in Jurassic World Evolution, a project where we're trying to build a biologically accurate dinosaur park and preserve with the use of mods. As always, just a quick note to say modding is not officially supported by the developers of the game Frontier, but if you want to do so, feel free to do so just at your own discretion. In today's video, we're going to be building a habitat for a pair of Allosaurus. Now, today's video is going to be significantly shorter. I just did not have time this week to film a live portion as I usually do. So what you're going to get is the time lapse and then the cinematics at the end. So I hope that's all right with you guys. But I think it kind of still shows off the, the gist of what we've been doing. And I think even a live section wouldn't really be showing off too much as there hasn't been that much progress in the rest of the park since the last video. Though we'll probably get into that at some point soon as we are kind of getting quite full of habitats themselves and it might be nice to just spend a couple episodes just doing infrastructure work so that'll be fun. But really at the end of the day this park has been more showcased for mods that I particularly like rather than you know a properly well developed park in and of itself. So I'm you know I'm completely open to suggestions as to what you guys would like to see. But in today's episode let's talk about the uh, the dinosaur that we're going to be including which is of course the Allosaurus. Now, Allosaurus is definitely one of the best known dinosaurs out there. We found loads of fossils of these guys. We are aware of several different species of them. We have Allosaurus fragilis, Allosaurus europaeus, Allosaurus gimetseni, so which is a new one as well. So, you know, they're very, very well known and they're quite interesting. A lot, you know, they have, they got that nickname as the, uh, the lion of the Jurassic. You know, they're, they're quite prominent in a lot of dinosaur media. You will have seen them in lots of documentaries, things like, you know, Walking with Dinosaurs. They are kind of always put, uh, portrayed as like pack animals and hunting together and stuff, but we're really not sure if they were. They have been, you know, discovered in like areas where they found lots of fossils of them together, but that could have potentially been pack behavior, but it also could have been simply just a bunch of them feeding on the same carcass or something like that. You know, they could have preyed on a variety of things. They lived in, like, some of the most biodiverse, you know, areas of the entire Mesozoic. You have the Morrison Formation, where you have things like sauropods of all sorts, you know, like small ornithopods, stegosaurs. You had a crazy amount of animals. And that's why we put this habitat right next to the um, the Jurassic Morrison habitat with it in the last episode, with all those different sauropods and stuff. So I think they work well together in a similar area. Um, of course, it wouldn't be great for the sauropods to look over and see, you know, Allosaurus just like right over there. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have been great, but you know, I'm sure they'll they'll learn to live with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, such an interesting creature, I think. And I've seen, I think, one fossil of an Allosaurus before in a museum, and it's always really quite impressive to see these guys in in museums as well. Just seeing a fully posed fossil and then really getting an, a an idea of what this animal would have been like in real life, the size of it and the, this is the structure and it's quite an interesting uh, experience really. Uh, some interesting things about the species, so um, they could open their mouth ridiculously wide, especially Allosaurus fragilis, they did some studies on it and they could open their jaws like incredibly wide, like almost a 180 degree kind of like split, which is insane. So they suggest that it would have used its mouth kind of like a machete so it would go up to prey and kind of slam down the top jaw onto onto whatever prey it would be and kind of like slash alongside it to kind of um, tear away the flesh without uh, causing too much like interior damage so the prey would probably bleed out so yeah you wouldn't want to be um wouldn't want to be attacked by one of these guys also a quick correction when I said the 180 thing that was definitely not right, but something apparently close to 92 degree angle, which is still an incredibly wide jaw gape. That's quite crazy. Um, but yeah, that's just mainly what I wanted to talk about briefly with these animals. They are extremely interesting creatures, and uh, I thought it was just nice to talk about for a little bit, you know. Learn a little bit about these animals, and yeah. The model we're going to be using for the Allosaurus in today's episode is going to be by Jagged Fang Designs, who of course have produced lots of incredible work, and their Allosaurus is some of their finest, if I do say so myself, you'll see it later. Really gorgeous coloration, um, absolutely beautiful model as well. Just really pleased with how it looks overall. Um, 
The colors especially, I think, look really nice. There's a lot of like subtle patterning across the body. And then Altforce, of course, has the two distinct um, crests above the eyes. And they did a really good job of having those areas have like kind of bursts of like light blue and vibrant coloration like that. And I think it looks really good. On screen right now, you'll see us just kind of decorating the monorail area with lots of rocks and foliage. And I think having these rocks that uh, have small enough hitboxes that we can overlap things uh, works really well for areas like this. I like having the monorail um, pillars kind of stick out of rocks. I think that looks really good and quite interesting. And it allows me to kind of decorate these areas up and maybe hide a little bit of the path imperfections because there are quite a few of them here and there. And adding in a few tiny plants as well. You may notice this is actually a much slower time lapse than usual. It's only sped sped up by like two or three times because um, it was a very really, very quick build. Like I said, didn't have an awful lot of time this week to be building, so I thought, you know, let's just get one a uh, relatively quick one done. I still think it looks really nice, and I'm very pleased with it. Like I wouldn't really change anything. It just happened to be a much faster build than usual, so it's nice to have a slower time lapse. I think it can really kind of you know, watch what's going on without maybe having your eyes completely like burnt out by the, the speed of it because that's kind of what I do with a lot of my other videos like Planet Zoo videos. Usually I speed it up by about nine times, which can be a bit much. If I'm sticking in one location and building in just one location, it's fine. But like if I'm moving around a lot, that nine times speed is tremendously hard to work with. Uh, anyways, here we are starting to add the foliage. I wanted to kind of get that vibe of like, like you would have seen if you watched them um, walking with dinosaurs back in the day, which is still easily my favorite dinosaur documentary. As outdated as it is, it still feels like the only one that really treated these animals like animals and honestly, so good. But I wanted to emulate the landscape you kind of see in that, um, in that episode, which is episode two, uh, was it Land of Giants, something like that? Oh, Time of Titans. One of those. It sounds They both sound very similar and there's probably a documentary called uh, Land of Giants that I'm thinking of. So I, I'm pretty sure it's called Time of Titans. Is it? Yes, it is. It is Time of Titans. So it's episode two, which is a really, really great episode as well. One of my favorite. Oh, I say one of my favorites. I think my favorite episode of Walking with Dinosaurs is always going to be the third one, which is like the aquatic one. So good. Cool. See? So good. Um... In fact, recently I even did an essay uh, for my university course analyzing one of the episodes of Walking with Dinosaurs because I do do a science communication course and I kind of did a project kind of analyzing how they made it feel like a real modern day animal documentary, even though all the animals, of course, were entirely constructed. And that was quite a fun essay. It was really nice to dive back into like a childhood favorite of mine and it was really cool. So would recommend if you haven't watched it before like I know a lot of my viewers probably um, might not have had the chance to just because it's not available everywhere nowadays like I think you can still find it on Netflix but uh, if you don't have access to Netflix it might be a bit harder to find but I would highly recommend it just even if you watched it back when it first came out all the way in 1999 would recommend going back to it and just giving it a watch again because it really is such a great hit of nostalgia and remains such a great piece of documentary filmmaking, if I do say so myself. Anyway, with that random tangent out of the way, we are coming up to the end of the episode already. It's been a very quick one, of course, like I said. Hopefully next week I'll be able to provide a slightly longer version. Uh, again, this week's just been quite heavy for me with work at university and stuff like that, so I was trying to keep a lot of things a little bit shorter. Also apologize if during this episode you could hear some drilling. As always, there's construction work going on inside my building, which is really not surprising considering I've decided to live in London, and for some reason, London's constantly, constantly making noise. Which, you know what? I chose to live here, it's my own fault, but, you know, it'd be great if they could tone it down just a little bit with the construction, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's episode. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned a little bit about the Allosaurus. Uh, Definitely enjoy the cinematics. It really does showcase the uh, the beauty of J Jagged Bank Designs as um, Allosaurus. Really great work there. Uh, please do like the video if you did like it. Comment down below. Leave me some suggestions. Subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>